Join us on this roller coaster ride through unbelievable driving mistakes. Let's embark on a journey teeming with surprises, twists, and a healthy dose of head shaking disbelief. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. The amateur video shows the tractor trailer stalled on the tracks in Locust Grove, Georgia, as the double stacked freight train approaches. There's no way trucks can fit over trains, but they'll try it all the time. The incident occurred in Texas after the truck became stuck while trying to cross over the tracks. Glad no one was injured. Wow, a massive semi truck was laden with cargo as it traveled through a town in British Columbia, Canada. The semi then swerves into the waiting traffic at the red light. Slippery roads are no joke. It's a reminder to slow down and drive like there's black ice around every corner. No, going too fast and can't control it. Best they hand their license back now. Half mode now, just couldn't believe me. A distracted driver caused an incident in Rosenberg, Texas. It's difficult for big rigs to avoid it. Good to hear everyone's safe. Drive with caution in icy conditions for a Merry Christmas, everyone. Everyone's okay. As it approached a line of stationary cars, it appears the driver showed no attempts to stop. The speed of the bus was not slow either, so the driver could not do much. Oh no, did that driver just forget about mirrors? Mirrors are there for a reason. There's probably no deceleration island in front of the roundabout. It is clear that when a driver of the car perceived the risk, he tried to accelerate, but this was no longer sufficient to avoid the problem. It's great luck that they are fine. What a tremendous amount of luck it would take for an object of this size and mass not to cause a massive incident. Driver gets spun around by a semi-trailer while trying to overtake the truck, but who's in the wrong? Wow, that pole is built for tough. I was supposed to see how much force it absorbed like nothing. The complete lack of awareness in some people is absolutely frightening. I hate it when people stop cars trying to turn and cross on a dual carriageway, when there are no stop signs or traffic lights. This has happened to me. At the intersection, I had the right of way, but someone ignored the sign. I understand there are unreasonable speed limits. Everyone ignores the warning signs and the speed limits posted. Brakes on stationary traffic are red flags. Car crossing should not have proceeded if unsafe. Oof, one truck thought it could play chicken with another. Grateful that everyone is safe. Yikes, they try to navigate that winter obstacle course, but the snow had other plans. I 
wonder if they were on the phone. It looks to me like they do notice and try to pull over, but they think there isn't room with the on-ramp coming up, keeping going for whatever reason. And there goes his tire. <laughs> Bro, he could have avoided that. He had plenty of room. Anyway, applause goes to the driver with the camera. He slowed down so he wouldn't run into it. Oh my, the driver of a Fiat, who was exceeding the speed limit, noticed the Lancia car turning left in front of him too late. It's a terrifying experience, but it's nowhere as bad as I thought. It slid down slowly without flipping over and over and came to a stop quite calmly. What do you think is going on? Brake failure or sleeping? Oh, seeing that situation was not good. The large truck behind quickly braked and turned into the other direction. Oh dear, maybe this is how the bus fire starts. Have you ever witnessed someone driving the wrong way? If you can't feel that, you don't need to be driving. Oh no, the red semi truck appears to have approached the corner traveling too fast. A bus flew off the road to the territory of the house and rammed parked cars. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. You never know when a car might pull a disappearing act and reappear right in front of you. What is this? We had a lot of space. The police took away his driver's license. Cops like, sure, you can come into my lane. That's a $90 entry fee. Well, someone lost their driving job. I think the incident happened due to failure to observe the following distance. If it is observed, it would have been a nice and calm Saturday for both parties. What I see on the road is nobody cares. I prefer to put the car down on the weekend. I see this will be the secret of a long life in the future. Driving isn't a TikTok dance challenge. Keep it steady on the road. It's funny and sad at the same time. The people are so irresponsible. Oh dear, that guy's driver's license should be revoked. Well, this is not the first time that someone tried to retaliate like that. Has anyone ever been a victim of road rage? Well, they hop back into the truck and drive away like it's just another day in the neighborhood. He really couldn't feel the vibrations of the oncoming train? If only the conductor would try to stop him. Do not imitate this. Oh no, I think both of them are at fault in this case. The train can completely avoid it and sugarcane trucks can stop. It's better to wait for the train to pass completely before proceeding.
Got a bad feeling when this driver saw the white truck not slowing down, so he didn't move, and he was correct. No, how can someone be so turned out as to plow into all of this, but still keep their lane? Even after, the truck is going backwards seemingly without any braking. Please drive carefully, bro. What is he thinking? Hope everything works out with the insurance and all that. At least everyone is fine. The wreck happened in Ringgold Exit in Georgia. A car hauler headed south pulled into the lane of a USPS tractor trailer. The USPS then crossed the median and collided with another tractor trailer head on. Luckily, everyone is safe. The incident, which was captured on a CCTV camera, showed the bus attempting to avoid an oncoming vehicle and going off the road. Hope everyone is still safe. Oh, the chase was difficult. A man from GTA posed as a very real threat. They did a good job, but it took a long time. Who do you think is wrong? Let me know in the comment below. Oh, the driver narrowly avoids a head-on collision as an approaching vehicle comes quickly around a blind corner and mounts the grassy bank. Never attempt to brake check the trucks, folks. in the wrong in this situation? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Oh, his current judgment indeed saved him. I hope the driver of the sand and gravel truck will be fine. A vehicle collided with the separation, causing the entire vehicle to overturn on its side and scrap metal contained in the truck fell to the ground. Pray everyone is okay. This is the moment a speeding car smashes into a taxi at the traffic lights in Turkey. Pay close attention to your surroundings and be prepared to stop at traffic lights. Oops, he knew it, but he just kept driving. It's ridiculous to continue driving like this. Oh no, he was driving on the shoulder of the road. Using the shoulder as a shortcut or to pass slow moving vehicles is risky. Don't do that. Snowy conditions demand extra caution. In severe weather, consider staying home or using public transportation. Here's the moment a truck plunged off the side of the bridge into the Charles River in Weston, Massachusetts. Luckily, the driver was able to get out of the cab before it became partially submerged underwater. This is the moment bamboo sticks impaled a car after falling off a transport truck. Safety on the road requires vigilance and careful driving, everyone. My thought looks like a brake failure. It almost even looks like he intentionally steered into the wall to help stop the car, but the physics were not in his favor today. A truck driver miscalculated the height of the fairing on top of the cab of his truck, ignored all the signs and the flashing warning signal, and confidently challenged the can opener bridge. Do not imitate this. People skimp on maintenance and a lot of skimping on undercarriage maintenance can end up like this. Thankfully, no one got hurt. Ah oh dear, he is overtaking at a bend and on a single lane road. Stay in your lane, bro. When a man turned left, he collided with a passenger from the opposite direction, causing his vehicle to flip over. Fortunately, both parties were not seriously injured. 
Many people think tailgating is okay. Don't tailgate, especially don't tailgate people that can give you a ticket for it. Yeah, do it, please. <laughs> yes. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you to allow for adequate reaction time. Be slow. Oh, that truck was going rather fast for approaching that curve. Almost looks like the truck might not have even noticed. Glad everyone is okay. It's unbelievable. This driver was drunk driving on one of Mexico's most dangerous roads. Don't do that, guys. A drive recorder captured the entire incident, which involved an almost head-on collision on a curve at Nisha Pass. It's extremely scary to drive recklessly like this. Hey man, that's not a good idea. That such actions are unsafe. The incident became possible due to the separation of the wheel of the VAZ 2114 car, which was moving earlier in the extreme right lane. Luckily, everyone is safe. That is too close. While it's a relief to avoid an accident, it's essential to reflect on such experiences and consider them as reminders to drive safely. Always stay focused, use signals, and drive responsibly to ensure a seamless and accident-free journey. Do not imitate this. Always check blind spots. This simple habit can save lives. Thankfully, all of them are okay. Really? He is stopping before getting out of the traffic lane? This is why you keep your eyes on the road. Do not change lanes suddenly or without proper signaling. Plan your lane change well in advance. Oh man, the car in front yielded to a pedestrian so the car behind can't brake in time. Never tailgate and always anticipate sudden stops. Then he fled the scene of the incident. In North Little Rock, Arkansas, an SUV hydroplaning crashed due to wet road conditions. If hydroplaning, gently ease off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. I don't understand how this could happen. Hard to say. Oh, you won't believe what happens. What a pity. The car is really ancient. Hmm, it's okay if you step on the wrong foot, so don't bother people. Put away phones and focus on driving, mate. Pay attention to the road and surroundings. Checking for oncoming traffic and proceeding only when it's safe is crucial, folks. Defensive driving, especially at intersections. Oops. By the way, can someone tell the brand who is to blame? It seems the truck driver tried to avoid the other truck in the left lane, but collided with this vehicle instead. Wow, how is the semi-trailer balanced? Can anyone explain to me? I think truck drivers need to learn to be patient when changing lanes. The train, not having time to leave the city, caught fire near the station. The fire occurred due to a break in the high voltage contact wire. F 
the driver of a Toyota Land Cruiser Jeep overtook standing cars in the oncoming lane and tried to cross the rails in front of an oncoming train. Do not imitate this. Whoops! Maybe someone fell asleep or was texting with a girlfriend. It won't be a problem if you don't cause trouble to others. It wasn't even possible to break, which is the fault of the truck. Has anyone encountered a similar situation? No. <laughs> it's amazing to be able to collide and run even if a wheel falls off, but it looks like the driver parked illegally. Who is at fault? Hey man, what are you doing? Stay attentive, avoid distractions and being cautious, especially during overtaking maneuvers. No, that trailer was already leaning before the curve. The load already had shifted. It was so poorly secure to begin with. The fact that a car can drive fast on a straight road does not mean it can handle it in a corner, especially an SUV. Hopefully, he got over it and learned a lesson. Without such video evidence, it would be difficult to accurately determine the circumstances of the incident based solely on eyewitness testimony. Buy yourself a dash cam, folks. To prevent such incidents, always obey traffic signals. Approach intersections with care. Oh no. You could have avoided that by steering left earlier. Wow, this time they may have learned a lifelong lesson. The hot weather in Florida can be unforgiving. They keep their speed low, but it still wasn't enough for this heavy load. Well, that didn't even try to look bad. This is why we should have a dash cam, guys. Again, running a red light. I witness this every day on my way to work. Do not imitate this. The driver in the black car made a mistake, but ultimately, the incompetence of the silver car seemed to cause the wreck. Wow, the lightning is so scary! This is a case for an $8,679.25 repair claim. Unbelievable the amount of damage such a seemingly minor incident can cause. What's wrong with you? It was fortunate that no other cars were involved. If your car plows into a guardrail, turn on your hazard lights and, if possible, move to a safe location. Call for assistance and report the incident. No! Now it just needs an arm to reach out and cut their license in half after the collision. It's too close! The suspect led officers from West Chicago and Warrenville, Illinois on a pursuit culminating on the I-88, where he struck officers' vehicles multiple times before coming to a stop and being taken into custody. He's, he's indicating he's stopping, he's indicating he's stopping. Well, he got a ticket. Oh, right lanes are ending due to construction and traffic. It's slowing down. I guess this guy didn't get the memo. Here is a prime example of how rubberneckers are bad. Failed to move to a lane over safely when an accident down the road caught their eye. The Subaru lost control with the trailer and collides with a wall in southbound MI. Glad he's fine. 
a truck drove through the city for over three minutes without brakes. The situation was saved by the coordinated actions of long-range fighters. One of the cases when the Ural miraculously avoided a collision. How lucky it was that the magic brakes of the Ural were on the side of the car this time. Actually surprised the RV driver didn't panic. Good situational awareness. I guess the other car ran a red light, but the driver Shelby should have seen that coming. Oh no. Luckily, no one was hurt. The driver said, hmm, I didn't see the red traffic lights. It's not my fault. People do not imitate this. The simple answer is people don't pay attention while driving. Please be careful out there, everybody. Thank God no traffic was coming in the opposite direction, and the driver managed to keep it upright and not get involved with other cars on the road. This dash cam captures a learner's car that lost control and smashed the curb. Luckily no one was hurt. You will never forget that lesson. This driver had a fairly good control of the truck. And just like that, I got that on video. Fortunately, no one was hurt, and this guy stayed on the road. Looks like the trucker couldn't brake in time. Fortunately, no one was hurt. No, that is scary. I think he needs frequent car maintenance. Luckily, no collision happened. The boom was terrifying. Thank God no one was injured. Well, he needs to change lanes at a slow speed and with a turn signal. Do not imitate this. Clearly there is a long line of traffic, blind intersections. Do not worry, no one was hurt. Be careful with traffic from all sides. Do not imitate this guy. Looks like someone was in a hurry to turn left, failed to yield to oncoming traffic. Don't do this, everyone. The white car driver ignored a sign prohibiting U-turns, causing the car behind to collide into the vehicle. Do not imitate this. This is why you don't run red lights, because you could cause a vehicle collision that could have serious consequences. That's why we need to slow down and pay attention when going through curves like this. Luckily, the driver was safe. As you see, the truck blows a tire and spins out of control on this busy highway. Thank God no one was hurt. Driving safely on snowy roads is important. Don't worry, everyone was okay. Poor car, he appeared to be hurrying. That's definitely a tornado. Wow, the energy of those things. Oh my god! The red car crosses red turning to yellow lights before turning to green lights. Fortunately, no one was hurt. 
Oh no, the sudden event gave them no time to avoid the incident. Please leave a warning signal before turning around. This video captures a trailer swaying, can cause loss of control when driving. Fortunately, no one was hurt in this case. Oh no, he needed better judgment. It's better for both drivers to slow down so this won't happen. Glad nobody got hurt. No one should get distracted while driving. Luckily, both of them were fine. You can even see the driver passing through the green light pound the brakes as soon as they see the cruiser. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Pay attention when driving. Oh my god! Glad nobody got hurt. The driver ought to retake a driving course, in my opinion. When driving on slick surfaces, use caution. Luckily, no injuries. Oh my goodness, my heart felt like it stopped pumping. Thank God the black car was safe. Maybe he should take a driving lesson again. Do not imitate this. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.